All right, so here is the howdy sign that I want to redecorate. Oh, there's my socks. <laughs> my new socks for Christmas. Anyway, um, this was in my son's room for quite a while. Um, we had a little bit of a cowboy theme going on, but now that he's eight, um, I was just going to throw this out, but then I thought, oh, maybe one day I'll, I'll do something with it. So today is that day. You can see at this corner it's a bit nicked, so I'm actually going to cover that um, as well. I was just going to leave it black, but then I, when I pulled it out, I noticed. All right, so we're going to cover this whole thing with the girls' papery paper using our glue glider max, or my glue glider max. And uh, I bought these cork, uh, I guess they're trivets, um, and I wanted to make a cork board for my daughter. Um, and this would go in her playroom where she could, you know, pretend that she's older than she is and uh, use it to write herself some little notes. So there you go. This is the plan. I'm going to attach those cork pieces with uh, my Glue Arts glue gun. And uh, we'll see how this turns out. All right. Let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is you have to measure the inside where all the paper pieces are going to fit. So the first thing you do here, grab your measuring tape and um, it turns out I need about eight and a half. Well that's how much length I have going across uh, from top to bottom. So I've um, cut some squares out of the girls papery paper and um, they're four and a quarter inch squares. So then I laid them out as to how I think they might um, go. You know, and I, I think the red polka dot pattern I use the most. I want to keep that throughout. Um, now, at the end here, you can see that um, measuring is off. So. What I want to do is, I don't want to start on this end and have nice big squares and then get to this end and only have half a square. So I'm going to measure the part here that doesn't fit. Okay, so we're looking at about an inch and a half. So what I'm going to do then is divide that in half and I'm going to take about three quarters of an inch off right here and then three quarters of an inch off this side. Okay, so that way it'll all look uniform and uh, then we can start gluing. Alright, so here we are. We need to fix this corner, so I'm actually going to paint the whole thing with this acrylic paint. It's by Liquitex, but you can use any black acrylic paint you want. Then I'm going to go over it with um, this Vibes Spritz by Shimmers. It's the Jenny B. Bleu. And what it'll do is just give a nice shimmer to the black paint. Maybe you'll see a little bit of the blue coming through, which is what I hope for. Okay. So just begin and just paint the whole thing. Okay. I'll be back. All right. So I wanted to show you before I go on any further, I've just sprayed a couple sprays of this shimmer spritz on here. And you can see it sitting on top of the black acrylic paint as it's drying. And I want these two things to dry together. Um, it's It's got a cool effect because the shimmers is going in the grains of the brush that the brush marks have created. So it's kind of neat. I'm going to continue to spray the rest. I'm going to do this left-handed so that you can see here. It's very difficult for me to do left-handed, but I'll continue spraying. Then I'm going to clean up that glob of paint. And then, once it's all dry, we can start affixing our girls' papery paper. Okay, we're halfway there. So what I've done in the meantime is I've sprayed three coats of the Shimmers Jenny B. Bleu Vibes, and that gives me a nice um, finish. I'm going to show you a little bit of a close-up. Okay. Um, but I'm going to want to make sure that that stays on, so I'm going to spray the whole frame with, this is a triple thick uh, glaze. It'll just seal in the paint. All right, so just give it a shake here. Okay, that will give us a nice shine to the frame as well. Kind of get it back to what it was uh, 
before. And um, let's take a close look. Nice and shiny. All right, so let's wait for that to dry. Then we can start adding the rest of our components, like the paper and the cork. All right. So I've moved the piece up onto my countertop because I wanted to show you this right here, the Glue Glider Max. This is a pretty heavy duty um, adhesive runner. So I want to show you how it works and show you how easy it is. And if you see it in action, you'll probably want to get one. Okay, so I've arranged my um, papers just for a little while. Now I want to see it going and then I'll you know, continue along, but I'll show you the first little bit. What I want to do is apply the adhesive directly um, to the board. So, and I, I want it to pretty much span the whole length. So I'm just going to take my runner and you can see it there. It's nice and sticky. Okay, so that's going to hold my paper in place. And then I'm going to run a strip along the top. And I'll do the same on the bottom, and then one in the middle. And then I find when you're releasing the glue glider max, pull off to the side, and then it totally separates from the adhesive. Okay, so where was I? Here is my first piece I'm going to put down. Okay, and then I'm going to lay this piece over top. I'm going to line it up as best as I can. Okay, and then we go to our second one here. Actually, I'm going to start with the bottom piece first. Line it up. Oh, oh it's very hard to pull off. <laughs> I'm trying to fix it, but there you go. That's how strong it is. Okay, I'm just going to have to leave it. So be careful. Make sure you want it, you know, make sure you want it uh, where it's going to be because it will stick. Okay, and then the second piece here. Okay, this is not, this is not going to come off. No. Okay. So maybe there where that's, uh, you know, where I didn't run enough adhesive, I'm going to take my Glue Glider Pro and run a little bit of the high tack. And that will just make sure that that edge stays down. Yeah, it's stuck now. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Now we'll keep going. You know, I'll have to lay down more of my uh, Permatac. That's what's in the uh, Glue Glider Max right now. It's the Permatac. It works really well. So I'll just... Uh, Lay a couple more strips, one in the middle, Oops. and one in the bottom. Okay, I will keep going with this project, and hopefully at the end, this will be the cutest little corkboard folder you've ever seen. Okay, so I've just come in. Um, again, I'm just going to show you the last and final strip. I've already done a nice strip of the uh, Permatac here. So one more. It's a lot easier, you know, when I was swiping it sideways, it's a lot easier to pull it toward you. Okay, nice even application. Just put that aside. Good thing about the uh, Glue Glider Max is that you will never lose it because it is so big. Okay, so final pieces here. I've just done my final cut to make sure it fits in here. All right, this is very nice paper. It's actually very nicely coordinated. Okay, final piece, and there you have it. Okay, so I've just plugged in my glue gun in the meantime because we have to use that next 
to apply the cork trivets. So you can already see this taking shape. Looks quite a bit better, doesn't it, from what it started with. A nice howdy sign turned into something beautiful. So now it's time to apply our hot glue to the trivets so that uh, they can stay on the board. So I'm going to choose, you know, the nicer side of cork. So I'm going to glue on this side first and then stick it down. So you want to make sure that you have glue sticks handy for when you run out. So have those on hand so that you can quickly stick them in the back when you need to. Okay, I'm going to just apply a generous amount of glue here. And apply some pressure. This dries really, really fast. If you've ever worked with hot glue, you know this. Again, generous amount of glue here. Put that aside. Apply pressure. Okay, these are sticking really well. Like they're even, they're lifting up the whole board. That's good, that's good glue for you. Okay, and then our last one. I uh, got some blots of shimmers on there, so they're not perfect, but this side is less perfect, so. Okay, our last and final trivet. Okay, so that, my friends, is our cork board decorated for, kind of looks kitchen-y, I'm kind of thinking country kitsch. Alright, so here's the final bulletin board of sorts. I've got a cork board for the to-do list. And I used, uh, right here is a Spellbinders die, a label die. And then I just matted these girls' papery stickers onto black cardstock. These are push pins, and these, this is a red hemp cord. Okay, so my to-do list, reminders. I tried to stick to nine letters. This has nine letters, this has eight letters, and this has nine letters. Um, just to be consistent and make them all look similar. I tried to stick with words that had the same number of letters. So there we go. And here you can see all that shimmers on top. It just sits on top of that black paint. Okay. And then here's that bad corner. You can hardly tell. Looks, looks covered. <laughs> All right, so I'll try and give you a whole peek of the whole thing. There it is. All right. See you later.